In this part, we're going to work on the custom tab bar navigation. And first, we need to change the order of these options. I want the statistics to be in the second place. So let's go into the layout. And here we need to define each tab in the order that we want. So tabs.screen. And first, I want to have the home tab. And then let's just uh, copy this and we'll change the name so second will be statistics then the wallet tab and then we will have the profile tab so when i save this you will see the order is updated now uh, we can add some screen options to this tab so let's hide the header and uh, let's have the property header shown set to false there we go but let's make it true for now we will hide it later then I want to use the custom tab bar. So there is an option for the tab bar, which receives a custom component. And I want to create a custom tabs component. So let's create a new file. And create a functional component. Let's save this. And let's import it here. Let's save this. And there we can see the custom tabs at the bottom. So now we can design it however we want. But before we do that, I want to show you the documentation for this. I've already created another video on custom tab bar navigation. There you can see this is the video. You can follow this or you can see the documentation. And here are some options to update the title and the icon of the tab bar. But we are not going to use this. We need a custom solution. And under the screen options, let's go to tab bar navigator. And because Expo is built on top of React Navigation, so we can use all the API from React Nav Navigation. And we're using the tab bar property, which I showed you earlier. And this is the snippet that will render all the routes from our uh, tabs group. So let's just copy this. And this will help us to create a custom design for our tabs. So uh, let's just copy the snippet and paste it here. Okay, so uh, let's export this function and let's change the name to custom tabs. And uh, let's define the type for these parameters, bottom tab bar props from React Navigation. Let's import it here. So you need to import the type like this and let's save this. So there we have an error. I think we need to define the type for this label. So this should be a string. Um, let's use any for now. Okay. So uh, let's save this to see the changes. Um, okay. So we have some errors. Where are we using this? Okay. I think we can just remove this. So let's remove the colors and builder href and uh, let's use the colors from our colors object so let's remove this and import the colors dot primary like this and for this one we can just comment it down and let's change this to a touchable opacity like this and let's save this let's reload Okay, so now we have this error. We need to define the key on each element. But we still can't see the tab bar. Um, okay, so we need to define some styles here. We need to have a width of 100%. Then let's define the height of 100 pixels for now. Let's save this. So to be able to see the changes in the custom tabs navigation, we need to reload the application each time. So there we can see the link for the home tab. We can also see the links of other tabs, but they are white. So we can barely see them. Now let's change the color to neutral 800. Let's save it and reload the application. So there we can see all the links now. So the way it's working is when we use this component, this receives a state property, which has all the routes from our tab group. And for each route, we define a label using the tab bar label or the title. 
then we have is focus property which just defines if a tab link is focused or not then we have an on press method which triggers when we click on the tab icon and then we have on long press if you want to use that and then for each route we define a touchable opacity which is a link for all the items in our custom tab bar so that's how this code is working now we need to create a style sheet for our styles style sheet dot create and first we're gonna have style for our tab bar container so tab bar and here we will use the styles for this container so let's copy this styles dot tab bar and let's paste them here okay so what's this now create does not exist on time um did we import this style sheet okay we did not so we need to import this that's why we're getting this error and let's save this okay so we need to format this we're gonna add more styles okay so for the height we're gonna use dynamic height so let's use vertical scale and let's give it a value of 73 but it will be different for ios and android so we're gonna make a check if the os is ios then we'll use vertical scale of 73 but if it's an android we're gonna use vertical scale of 55 like this and then uh, we're gonna use a background color of colors dot neutral 800 and then uh, justify content space around line item center and let's save this so we need to reload the application to see these changes okay so the design is updated and next we will work on the tab bar item design but before that let me change the background color for the home tab and for that let's just import our screen wrapper component let's save this okay so now we can hide this header as well so let's go into the layout file from the tabs group and let's change this to false so the header is gone we also have this home text in the home tab so let's change the component to typo let's save this there we can see the text so now we're gonna work on the tab bar item design so let's go into the custom tabs and before we do that i want to have a, a border on the top of this tab bar so border top color will be the colors dot neutral 700 and then border top width will be one pixel and we will see this once we reload the application but now let's define the style for our item so let's give it a key to remove the error that we have so route dot name will always be unique from each route so that's why we're using this as a key for each tab bar item and let's add that style let's change this to style dot tab bar item and let's define the styles here first i want to have a margin bottom for each item and this will be different on uh, each platform so let's make a check if os is ios then we're gonna have a spacing y of 10 otherwise it will be 5 for android then let's add justify content to center and align items to center let's save this and we we need to reload the application so there we can see the link of the index tab but we can't see the link of other tabs because uh, we have the color set to neutral 800 so if i change this and reload the app so now we can see all the links of the tab bar items and we can navigate to them but we're not gonna show the name of the routes here we're gonna show the icon for each tab so we need to define an object for all the icons and 
in this object each property will be a route name so we have index route this will be a function which will receive is focus property and this will be boolean based on this we will show if the icon is active or not and this function will return an icon we are using phosphor react native icons so let's import the icons from phosphor react native and first we're gonna use house icon for the first item and let's define some properties as the size will be vertical scale of 30 and then we have the weight weight will be different based on if it's active or not so if it's focused then it will be filled if it's not focused then it will be regular then we have the color so color will also be dependent on is focus property for active we will use colors dot primary and for inactive we will use colors dot neutral 400 so let's close this and save this okay so uh, now we need to have three more icons for other tabs so let's just copy this and let's change this to statistics and the icon for this one will be chart bar like this this one to wallet and we have a wallet icon and last one to profile and for this one let's use the user icon let's save this okay so now we need to use this and remove this label so we're gonna use the route dot name to get the tab or icon property and if we have that we're gonna make it a condition and then uh, we can call the function on this route dot name because each property is a function and we need to pause the property is focused that way we can see if the icon is active or not so uh, this will return an icon and this will change the weight and the color when we navigate to this so let's just reload the app and see if this is working so we can see all the icons and if we click on any icon we move to that tab so it's all working it looks a bit weird because when we move to other tabs they have a background of white so let's use the screen wrapper for all the other tabs as well okay now let's see if we move to other tabs they all have the same design like this and because we're using a custom tab or component that means you can literally create any design you want and with this our custom tab bar navigation is complete and in the next part we'll work on the profile tab